call this meeting to order. Today is Tuesday, June the 4th, and this is Public Works. Um, I'm sorry I didn't ask you, Commissioner Stevens, but would you mind saying the Oh, I will, sure. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity that we have tonight to serve our constituents in our county. Father, I pray that we'll be uh, clear-minded tonight and that we'll have good discussion and that we'll make good decisions. Father, I pray that you'll continue to bless our great community <coughs> and all the people that we have here. We pray this through Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, do we have a, um, I believe everybody's received their minutes from last month. Mm -hmm. Do we have a motion concerning those? Motion to approve. Second. Any other questions or? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, first we have the landfill and solid waste report. Um, I just literally within about two minutes ago found out that uh, Mr. Nolan is on vacation. So um, he will not be here tonight. If we have any tough questions, I'm sure we can possibly get those answered. But um, if you have the copies of the report on your iPad. I'll give you a minute to look those over. I got some questions, I guess for the county mayor. Weaver <clears throat> approved this report. Okay. I make a motion to approve the report. So. I haven't even had time to look yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, one thing I don't see on here is uh, reports of any any type of information about some of the things we discussed last month, such as uh, we were supposed to have a report when we came back from about uh, what TDAC had said. Yeah. And going forward on that, do you know? Well, you want, want to ask me to ask these questions after you get through the Yeah, report? I want to approve it and I want to ask the same. Okay, so you all want to vote first? Anyway. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion passed. Okay. Okay. I have to quite uh, help me understand what the actual question was. Now, TDEC was there back in March. Uh, is it, is it, are we going back that far? Is that where we are? No. Last month at the meeting, um, TDEC was here, and there was supposed to be a meeting that Friday about um, issues going forward and what, what was going to happen right. with that. Can you elaborate? That was, it, that was the way I understood it, Mr. Mayor, was yeah. there was a meeting going to take place. We were going to have a report back. And I'm, I never got a report emailed to me. I didn't know if they were going to do it. So I didn't know if you could talk about that or if we well, knew any of that. Um, the, our consultant and Mr. Nolan and, and um, a representative of TDEC were there. Okay. And did have that meeting and they have outlined any number of things that, that we're going to do with respect to water sampling and the pumps that are in the wells mm -hmm. and drilling a well. So that report's been made. We could have had you a copy of that. I didn't send you a copy of it. But in any event, TDEX well aware of what's doing that. We're actually taking bids this Thursday, I guess it's purchase right. committee meeting, on uh, acquiring some bladder pumps to put in all the wells so that we can get water samples properly and correctly and timely. We're also taking bids on drilling wells. We know we want to drill at least one well. That So all of that was sort of a result of this meeting that, that you're referring to. So we are progressing with following the outcome of the things that were outlined when we had the uh, our consultant and TDEC there at that particular meeting. Can we get a copy of that report as a committee? Oh, sure. If we can't, I don't know who needs to send that to us, but I think it would do the committee well to get a copy of that we'll report. Make a note or so the report is simply the findings of our that was written up by our consultant. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever it was, I'd like to get a report on it. And then the other one was. Um, TDEC had sent some pictures and, and uh, findings over to the water <coughs> department, the water, um, I'm sorry. CUD? No, 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 on the state quality. level. On the yeah, state the, level. the state water quality people, is that what you're Yes, I, yeah. and we were supposed to get a report back from that, if I they have, had one. We have not seen, I have not seen a report. I don't think okay. they have prepared that report. Okay. okay. Not to my knowledge, I'm not, not we haven't received it. I haven't received a copy of it. And typically, they've been sending me a 
a copy of anything that they officially uh, record and prepare. Okay. Also, I think it was some question you might have asked it, Dr. Chairman Phillips, about the OSHA. OSHA. There were nine findings, nine serious findings on the OSHA. Nine provision. serious findings. That's what I, I got a, I got a, I ain't got it with me, but seven of them critical <coughs> findings. That's, you know, and the date to have those um, resolved is, was right. uh, June 22nd, so it's before our next meeting. I can't address all of that. Do you, but I'll do you have to sit down and read a little bit of stuff. Okay. It's just fine if you if you know. I can tell you this. Let me please summarize this. Yeah. Just give me a minute to get my thoughts <laughs> together here. <clears throat> okay, there was a complaint filed, and Tosha has responded. And Tosha, on April the nineteenth, did appear at the landfill. There were fifteen. Complaints made. Of those 15 complaints, only three were found that a citation would be recommended for action. Now, in addition to those, when they came there, they found some things of their own, on their own initiative. And as a result of all that, there were nine findings that they did say a violation uh, occurred and must be corrected by June the 22nd. They were there on the 19th. They sent a report on May. We received it on May the 22nd. And all of these nine findings, which they classified as serious, and three that were not serious, 12 of those, they, as of Monday, all of them had already been corrected, except for two of them. And those two are, we may have to just discontinue the use of one grinder because we can't find devices to put on there that they want shields on that particular device. So, and the other one will be corrected easily. So there's nothing here of any serious consequence, nothing of any serious nature that hasn't already been corrected and remedied. We have to have all of this done by June the 22nd. And they're almost all done even now as we speak. I think there was a line there that said that we could request an extension, but you don't think we're going to. There's not necessary. As of Monday, they've already all been completed. We would, we haven't sent the actual report because when we send the report, we're going to reflect that all of them are complete okay. and they have been corrected. And then there was another report that was handed to me when I came in, and it was, I guess, the last um, evaluation from TDEC of the landfill. It was dated 5:30. I don't know if you've had a chance to see it yet, but it um, there was a note in here that says operation does not correspond with engineering plans, and they've got um, until the end of the month to address it as well. Have you seen that one? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. So that was May the 30th? May the 30th. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even sure Mr. Dolan was here then. Okay. It, it, does he have a number two? I mean, because when there's a clock ticking on something like this, I'm just wondering the what happens. Of by the end of June, yeah, it's compliance correct. dates June 30th. Yeah, they're always within the next 30 days. Okay. Well, that'll be large, logically something routine that we'll take care of. But I have not seen it, so I can't address that. Okay. The consultant, Mayor, <coughs> did we put that out for bid? Are we going to stay with the same one? This well, here's what's consultant. Happened. This is a new consultant. A new one. This is not the same consultant that's been used for many, many years out there. So we have determined in some consultation with TDEC that a, a change needed to be made. And no, we didn't put it out for bids, but we did select a new. They gave us a number of names. This is a professional service and uh, does not have to be placed for bids. And we talked to two or three of those they recommended, and this is who, and we picked one. Well, I was at the meeting, the one you're talking about in March, and it seemed like it was a lot of confusion there between the inspectors from uh, TDEC <clears throat> and our consultant. And um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to note a little history on the consultant that we hired. I don't think there was any real confusion between that particular consultant. I think they were reflecting discussions or lack of action had it been taken in previous years by the previous consultants. Because that consultant had only been with us a very, very short time at that point in time. Mayor, what's your feelings about 
Mr. Mack, I mean, Mr. Nolan, moving on out there at that demolition area well, where he can directly oversee all these problems and instead of well, I don't think that's necessary at this point in time I think we're making major progress I don't see any major difficulties that we're not addressing in a thoughtful and in a professional way I don't agree but I just don't agree with the direction we're going there. I mean, I think we've had ample amount of time over since 2010 to uh, start correcting. I mean, I think we, I think we appropriated back in 2010 some money towards this particular item here out, out at our demolition area, and it never was attempted and uh, I just don't really got no confidence in Mr. Nolan myself to oversee this. That's just my opinion. You you might feel different. Uh, I think we need to look in another direction as far as me replacing him, putting it, mm -hmm. getting somebody out there that, that knows well uh, what's going we'll on. We'll deal with it in a professional way and it's exactly what we're doing. We've got a good, I think a good engineering uh, consultant that we're using now and we seem to have a good relationship in, with our discussions with TDEC. I don't see that anything that we heard that at the extended discussion they had that would indicate anything different. Uh, just to, uh, and this might be a stupid question, I don't know, but I always say there's no stupid questions, right? Um, how much or or is it completely, is it necessary for us to do uh, water testing and, and send that out and how much would that cost if we decided it was necessary um, to a third party is that something that we well, should look at what water test what what sources of water are you suggesting the stone that drivers. we test the stone drivers mm -hmm. the state even told us that they are routinely testing the water themselves there's no indication we're testing water on our site okay. we just tested the water in that so-called spring there there was nothing found in that spring, nothing of any consequence to be concerned about. And Murfreesboro Water Company, uh, they, they do testing too at their intake, right? Well, I'm sure they do, yes. Or, or all, downstream all of the or users are, are testing do. at their intakes. Was that, done, was that did by our, our former yeah. consultant or was that did by our... The new one. The new one. It was one. done by the new consultant. We took samples there. And they were sent to independent testing labs and, and the results are in. There's nothing there that one should be concerned about in the least. How much are we paying him, <clears throat> this consultant? We're paying them by the hour. I mean, it depends on the type of engineer they're using, whether it's senior or project or whatever. I think the last little bill was $3,000. but it will be, we've already spent several thousand dollars and we'll continue to do so. I think I, I planned on asking Mr. Nolan tonight, but I'll, uh, I'll give him a call whenever he comes back into town. And I, I think it would be nice as a committee if we just saw the state uh, report each month whenever he- This one that has. she has here, okay. Mm -hmm. How long was he supposed to be on vacation? Did he say? He'll be back Thursday. Will he? Will he be back in time for the commission meeting? Yes. Commission yeah, session. Yeah. Next week. Commission meets next week. Maybe. I mean, it's. A, I know my constituents. They they got a lot of concerns about it, and if he could answer some of these questions, I I feel I'm sure they. If feel any more questions calm. are answered, I'll answer them at the commission meeting. You don't want to. No, you I don't, don't think, think that's necessary. I've already answered all the questions here, even right now. <coughs> I'll provide copies of things that you asked for and, and need. Are there any other questions? <clears throat> okay. We'll move on then. Okay, planning. Was the county fined by OSHA? No. OSHA oh, hadn't been on the site yet. Tosha has been there. No. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until the end of the meeting 
at, right after. We we typically have a, a no um, questions unless we, it's just in our county rules, the commission rules. Um, but we'll get those answered. I'm uh, here for a couple reasons. One is Doug is on vacation. He's uh, helping out his vacation Bible school. <coughs> And also, most of you probably know I'm retiring at the end of the month, so this will be my last hurrah. <laughs> um, there are no public hearings this month. We had one, but it was withdrawn, so there won't be any public hearings. Uh, the lot inventory, uh, Doug did not finish that when he left Friday, so he'll get that an update to you at the next, next meeting. I have uh, brought with me several uh, budget amendment requests that I need to go over with you. Here's our staple together, hopefully all in the same order. Let's see, the first one is, uh, since I'm retiring, I've got some leave that they've got to pay me for. And so this is moving uh, $3,650 from the general fund to uh, play out the accumulated leave that I'll have at the end of the month. I don't know if you want me to go through all these or one at a time. Or I think we can do them all at once, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's the, okay with that. The okay. second one is similar to the first one. Todd Sullivan uh, has resigned his position effective the 14th of June. He and his wife are moving back to their home in Alabama, uh, Florence, Alabama. Anyway, we owe Todd some uh, $5,900 for that to pay his accumulated leave at the end of the month. And so that's to move $5,900 from the general fund for that purpose. The third one is one of our favorite topics here. We've got a subdivision that we need to take care of Rachel's place. I brought a little uh, diagram here to show you where it's looking. This basically is a, uh, got to finish putting the topping on Rachel's place, section one. This was a case where our developer and the office were working on the uh, getting the bond, the letter of credit renewed, and we were told it was going to happen. The bank then told the developer, we've changed our mind, we want our money tomorrow, and we are seeing bankrupt, and then they sold, the bank turned around and took it, meets and bounds, and then they sold the lots uh, at an auction while the letter of credit was still good, and we went to renew it. Nobody, anyway, it was defaulted upon. And so, hey, Dale, have we caught that in time? Would we have been able to intervene and yeah. put a lien towards the development, or is that is that not the approach we would have taken? I mean, I know well, ideally we, we'd want the letter yeah, of bond to stay. What we would have current. done is we would have called it. Okay. And just tell them, the letter of credits, is, we've been pretty fortunate with those. Mm -hmm. just, we do a standard letter we put together in the office. It's a timetable of the project, what happened, and ask for it, and we take it to the bank and they give us a check. I usually call them three days ahead of time, so when I show up, they hand me a check. The bonds are a little bit different. We've got uh, one of our subdivisions like this where we call the bond. They, uh, we knew the developer went bankrupt. We call the bond. Uh, we've been work, we work with the bond company for two years, and the latest request uh, said, well, you need to sue us because we don't feel it's our responsibility. So hmm. we're trying to deal with that right now. So, but anyway, why, this, why would they think if they got a bond, they wouldn't be the I totally agree with you. Well, bond, Our right. lawyers agree with you. <laughs> uh, this particular company, uh, I know that Nashville had the same problem with them, and they drag it out. They've been working on it two years. If their history holds correct, it'll probably take another two years to settle this. They drag it out until you go to court. Weren't we also trying to implement some sort of policy where if we ran into this issue again, then going forward we wouldn't accept a bond from a company like that? Yeah, that well, we, we put into our uh, our new subdivision regs 
that if this happens, that for the, they can't do bids for that company for five years. Okay. So, so the most we can do to protect ourselves. Put them on the list. That's about all. So you're saying the time had expired before we before get the bond right. call on this one? And this one is just uh, just putting the final topping. There's a few minor repairs. This one's in pretty good shape. Put the final topping. It's about 5,800 feet of pavement that we have to, to do. How many more do we have? Well, I think I've got, I ask that over time. We've got one more here. And I no, I mean um, subdivisions from from uh, bankrupt developers. Uh, we got. Of course, the one, the bond one I just told you about, we got to deal with that one, and I, I think that's it. We, uh, we have used an outside attorney. Those had a little bit of conflict of interest with our in-house attorney. In that, we don't think there's anything else legal we can do on this particular one or the other. The second one, he's going to tell you about in just a moment. Either there are some. I guess you could say creative ways to foreclose and then sell property back that makes it really, really difficult and impossible for us to get at anybody to, uh, and this is one case we made. We did, we were able to, on one or two of them, cover some of the monies because you know, they foreclosed in a particular way that then we could show that they actually still had ownership of the roads. Mm -hmm. But in these particular cases, they did not. All they did is sell the lots to different developers and walked from the whole project, the banks. And Bill, I know we had a developer recently who um, he offered to put up cash in lieu of a bond. That's correct. Because it was going to be more cost effective for him. And of course, we'd much rather have the cash, right. you know, so it's readily available. Would it be worthwhile, and Mayor, you may want to weigh in on this, would it be worthwhile to offer an incentive or some kind of discount to have the cash because I'd I'd rather have the cash too. Well, what we did in that case is he brought us a check and I gave it to Lisa and they put it in a, an account. Right. And then he eventually finished the work and we gave him back the money um, for an incentive. I don't know that's that'll be. I mean, I wonder if that'd be legal. I don't know. I'm just curious. The, <clears throat> they do it at the bond at the sheriff department, like bond, okay. bond, bondsman. Okay. Well, they got to put up so much. And if you have cash, that it's. I think it's cash. Uh, just like ten percent or something. Okay. Um, <clears throat> interesting on the the company I was telling you where they told us that they weren't going to sue. They actually had two projects. The first one, they honored the bond and gave us some money, and we did the work. The second one, because it was a larger amount, is the one that they're saying that they don't feel like they have an obligation. So. Can we put something in our requirements that says if they don't? honor the bond that we can sue them to get our attorney fees too? Uh, we're working up a, an agreement that uh, we're putting through our attorney stuff to, to do that type of thing that you're talking about, to actually outline those that verbiage in the new uh, subdivision regulations that we're going through right now. It seems like they just keep getting us over the barrel and we keep losing out. Mm -hmm. and if, if they're not going to honor it, then we don't need to take their bonds, period. So. Um, the next one is we've got, we want to move, this is within the budget, there's no change in the budget, we want to move $1,300 from other contracted services and we want to put 900 in supplies and materials, 499 There we're going to buy a self-leveling laser for our field people to use that we need. And, and also we're, four, we're going to be about $400 short on gasoline. We thought we had that covered, but with our summer hires, they, they use, example, two tanks out of our uh, little suburban we got last week, and that eats up a lot of money quick. And so we we want to move the money there to, to cover the gas. And our final one is another subdivision. This one's Poplar Cove. And again, I've got a little map. This one is, is up near um, Smyrna. Um, in this particular case, it's only a, it's only about a, a 10 or 11 lot subdivision. The developer uh, who was developing this, uh, he put down four inches of rock. We basically got a rock cul-de-sac in there. And then he was in an automobile accident. And he got killed. 
Well, the subdivision became part of the estate. Apparently, the, the wife couldn't handle it. The bank took it back, and again, they sold off the lots. And, uh, and in that process, the letter of credit, they wouldn't hold it. We couldn't get it. It would expire when we were working with a guy to renew it, and it's just a But this one, uh, what we want to do here, because they've just they've got four inches of rock, we want to do the, just complete the project, put two inches of rock, binder, and final coat on it, and, to, and then the project will be finished. There's two, of the 12 lots, two houses are in there, and the other lots have been sold. So. But the actual road itself is still owned by the bank. This may not be feasible at all, but I know this particular development, and it's such a small stretch of road. I'm just wondering, if, would there be any way as we go through this process to then say, okay, well, if it's not brought up to county standards, then it's a private easement. And so now it's back on the people who live on that road to figure out how to take care of it. That's, that's a possibility. We looked at it all of these. Uh, it was decided to go this route. Okay. Uh, you, can't, you can do that, but it was decided to, to, to go this route. So. Okay. And those are, I know it's quite a few. I don't usually go over asking for quite this many, this much money, but I'd be glad to answer any other questions. Or? When there's any dispute that comes up at all, can we go ahead and file a lawsuit? And then work on negotiating so it doesn't stop us from collecting that money. Uh, that'll be up to the mayor and you guys because that, that'll well, cost you some money up front. We, we are going to have to file a lawsuit on this bond against this bonding company. I mean, but the advice of our other, of our attorney, we haven't found it reasonable to expect that the outcome would be such that it would be worth us filing these lawsuits. And, on these two that we're talking about. Well, here. at the time it's fired, I understand that. But if, if there's still time to get the money and they're stonewalling and don't want to give it, it might be safer to go ahead and file a lawsuit against them. Oh, yeah, if there's still time, yes. Instead of waiting and, and getting drug out and miss the deadline. Absolutely. Just start filing lawsuits against them all the time until they pay. Well, we don't think we have any others that are in this uh, situation of jeopardy. I think we really need to heighten our standard for, we for are, these bonds. We, we have in the new. We, we have in the mm -hmm. last two years heightened the standards, and hopefully, the, these are old. And we've been putting off hoping against hope that something would happen, and uh, on these two, it, it's, it's not going to. I, I will say this, and I, and I don't want to. We're somewhat fortunate, if we will, to have six out of this. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, ended up with 53 of them. Uh, over in. Franklin, there they had a bank go under. And so the letter of credits, which were actually good, where the FDIC wrote them and told we're not going to honor the letter of credit because the bank went under. Um, I'm just saying that, you know, we, we got caught in some unusual circumstances. Uh, it is cost us money expensive. Uh, I make a motion that we approve all the amendments as presented. Sure. Okay, any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Oh, I'm sorry. Call the roll. <laughs> Commissioner Allen? Aye. Commissioner Black? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Serino? Yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yo, do we have any idea who you replaced them as yet? No. Uh, I made a recommendation to the mayor with this. I'm sure once I leave, he'll advertise it or figure out what he wants to do with it. So uh, I will tell you, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think we had some discussion. Sometimes we don't always agree, but we made some progress. And uh, I think uh, it's something that progress will make. And I think the new regs will help us make some progress. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 I'll see you around. Thank you. 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 Thank
Madam Chairman, Commissioners. Last month's building activity is in the bottom of the first page. We issued 243 permits. Fees taken in was $200 for plan review, $57,477 for permit fees, $7,400 for plumbing fees, $1,340 for gas permits for a total of $66,417. On your next page is our uh, totals for the year. We've issued 276 houses this year compared to 193 last year, so we're up 83 houses from last year and our total permits issued this year 1047 compared to 88 886 last year so we're up 161 total building permits uh, going back up to line four coming down was mobile homes we've issued 14 mobile homes this year compared to 16 total all last year so uh, our mobile homes uh, sales are definitely up, probably uh, interest rates have a little bit of everything there. Our, our average right now is, is it's a real good average on um, housing. Um, we're averaging 50, about 55 houses every month this year, and that is a normal for us to get us to anywhere from 660 for the year to 700 and that's our 25 year average where we've averaged about almost 700 houses per year the last 25 years so we're getting really really close to our total average that we've had in the past our zoning enforcement it's the next page in the red down at the bottom we did 455 inspections for property standards in May, 82 for signs in BZA, new cases was 89 and closed cases 67. Our property maintenance uh, May came way up. I've looked back on <coughs> Um, past years and uh, when you get into the 300 mark uh, usually in uh, May and June is, is our busiest times. That's mostly tall weeds and grass. We did release 11 liens this uh, past month and applied 8 liens to properties that we mowed. Seventy-two signs. We uh, yard sale signs, business signs, advertisements. Our building inspectors help us with those on uh, street corners and right of ways. So that helps uh, helps us clean up the neighborhoods on, on those signs. Our development tax collection is the next sheet. Can I back just one second? Mm -hmm. When um, when we have to pick those signs up, do you find the people that are supposed to put them out there? N normally. If they're in the right of way, um, we're able to collect those signs and we hold them for 10 days. Uh, the average sign, we don't call anybody, we, we just collect them, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some calls that, hey, did you get my sign at so and so, you know, and all that. If they want to come and get it, it costs them $50. Per sign? Per sign. So yeah. on an elaborate sign that costs somebody some money, that is more than just the average directional sign or yard sale sign, mm -hmm. uh, we will call them and let them know that we've got it. If they want it, they pay $50 to get it back. Okay. Uh, on our development tax collections, for May, building codes took in $561,750. Planning department took in $50,250 for a total of $612,000. Our cumulative total on the right hand side for our total, $3,108,000. Um, we've exceeded last year's collections by a million 
56,750 at this time with one more month to go. So that's good numbers on that. Uh, apartment buildings in Murfreesboro City was our largest collection, 279 apartments on Robert Rose Boulevard. And that's my report, Madam Chair. Thank you. Any other questions? I hope Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, hallway department. I believe we have two. Which one first, Mr. Commissioner Jarnigan? First and is uh, amendment is to the property and casualty insurance self insurance fund carried files on hands below the SA reserve. So you can figure that forty five thousand one fifty eight increased and then this count <coughs> decrease forty five thousand. 158 out here. The road board passed it. The road board made the money. I'm going to take them one time. I'm going to take them the other. How are you going to do it? I guess we need to do this separate. Yeah. The uh, uh, budget amendment separate. Yeah, that's right. I'll make a motion to approve that. Second. Second. Any other questions? Discussion? Call the roll. Commissioner Allen? Aye. Commissioner Black? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Serino? Yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. The next item is a new drainage easement. Uh, Olive Branch Estates, lots 45 and 46. One drainage easement. Motion was made and approved to accept that. Make a motion to approve. Okay. okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, um, before we adjourn, I, I just kind of had a brainstorm in the last couple of days. Um, with all the issues that we've had from um, the discussions that we've had from the landfill, I've, it's really come to my attention how our, depart, our department's our reports are so different. Um, for example, I so serve on public safety and um, like the sheriff's office, they'll report exactly how much money is in each of their funds. Um, fire department, they'll report exactly what the, um, what, uh, Chief Farley does every single month and so it just seems like every department is is completely different in what they report and how much information that we get and so I didn't know if there was um, anybody else who was feeling the same way as I am um, and obviously there's we have seen that there's some things that we need to know as a committee that we possibly haven't gotten information on in the past um, and so, um, is there, has anybody else noticed that as well? No, I think that's very insightful. I think you're exactly right. Um, because, I mean, you know, there are many things that came up with the landfill that were questions we didn't know to ask. Because, mm -hmm. for as long, you know, since I've been a commissioner, I've been on this committee, those are questions I didn't even know to ask. So, I, I don't know what the solution is. I mean, part of it, from a financial standpoint, part of it would be, Involving, I think Lisa Nolan to see if we could, if there's some sort of standardization of reports that we could get. Um, but in terms of like the business that they do, that they conduct within their department. I'm not sure exactly how we identify what it is we want submitted, what we want to see. I would love to yeah. see some consistency among the different departments. Well, and and I think it would help our department heads too, because I'm sure that when uh, I know. Like with Paws, when he first came in, our new director over at Paws, he first came in, I felt like he was a little confused about what he was supposed to be reporting. Um, and I've had department heads contact me and say, what exactly do you want to see on a report? And so um, I didn't know if 
uh, this should be a committee thing or if we should take that to steering and let steering talk it out and see if there's some kind of an amendment we want to make to our handbook possibly or um, I don't I don't know where where to go from there but well I think if you're going to affect change among all the all the departments it's going to have to go through steering but um, it, it could be helpful to them if we provide some suggestions so that way they're at least not starting from scratch yeah. well I'd recommend uh, Chairman Phillips if you want to come to the next steering meeting and present your ideas okay is that something that you I mean yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Well, because I know, for example, I'm not on public safety, and I know that the sheriff's budget is a big part of, you know, the overall spending of the county, and so I asked um, um, Mr. Russell for a breakdown of their budget twice and didn't get it, and so when I saw the sheriff at the last uh, meeting, I asked him about it, and he said, well, our budget, you know, it wasn't ready till just a few days ago. Well, I'd had the school board's budget for an entire month Thank to review know. and so it, so for me that's part of the consistency thing is they need to have their budgets ready at a certain time we shouldn't be last minute scrambling trying to figure out what's in somebody's budget and so there ought to be some way to create some consistency there because i know his i know his is a very big and complex budget but i don't think it's any more complex than what the school board does mm -hmm. and they had theirs ready a month in advance so uh, yeah so i've been experiencing that same frustration and I'm not talking about little, small, I'm talking about broad, like, yes. you know, do we want to know exactly what the director does each month, or do we want to know what goes on in the department? Do we want to see state reports whenever they come in and, and perform an inspection? Mm -hmm. um, do we want to see how much money they have in each budget each, every single month, or, you know, I don't know. It so. might be good for you to poll the other committee chairs to see what, because, I mean, there's committees we don't serve on. It might be good to see what information a good idea. they get and what information they want to see and see if you can't find some common threads and you know let those be you know what's consistent and then you have some that are completely unique you know because you know we get the community right. care report you know we get um, it's about a nursing home you know we get the health department so there's going to be variations in all of them that won't translate exactly but yeah I mean the stuff about the landfill we we should have been we should have known there were issues long ago and it might be something just as a committee we say this is what we want to say or it might be something on a, on a full commission I think it also would help new commissioners coming in because I know for me you know I felt like I already knew a little bit about what the committee did the commissions did um, you know from serving on planning commission but it's very different when you sit down mm -hmm. and you're coming in cold and, and you are the new kid on the block and you're just trying to figure out what is what does all this mean and I think if there were some consistency I think they would come up to speed more quickly and I think they would understand and be able to ask questions more quickly than I feel like I was able to. Good thought. Okay, so is that okay with the committee if I... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, I want to remind you that June the 15th is the open house landfill. over at the landfill. So anytime between 8 and... Um, it closes at 12, so if you want time to be able to see it, you probably need to be there before 11. Um, but he will be there that morning, so uh, for any time that you would like to come to get questions answered. So June the 15th. Any other questions or anything that needs to come before the committee? If not, we still have time. Is there a fine? So There's no okay. fine. has been no mention of a fine, period. End of story. Yep. From T deck? Is from that what we're talking about? Or T deck. Okay. So there was no fine from anybody. No fine whatsoever. There's been no fine. Right. It's free to air to open up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, that's why I'm like, what was that? Because I had it at eight. Mm -hmm. 